Hey, back with a few garage sale finds uh, from today. Uh, first thing here is uh, the movie Cliffhanger with Sylvester Stallone. You know, the reason I include this is, um, you know, watching this movie on widescreen, you know, as opposed to full screen, is like watching an entirely different movie. I mean, especially a, an action film with a lot of scenery in it of mountains like this one. It's amazing. I was just talking to a buddy of mine about it, and I said, yeah, I'm going to keep a lookout for it. And, uh, you know, it shows up at a sale and uh, in the widescreen version with a whole bunch of extras, so nice find. Now the next find was a set of three Dina Durbin movies, and uh, the one I was especially interested in was uh, First Love, and that's a movie where uh, Dina Durbin, I guess back in 1939, uh, they made a big deal out of the fact that she was going to have like her first kiss, uh, and uh, actually Robert Stack played the male that would give her the first kiss, and uh, I guess it was a big secret. They had a closed set, and uh, it was a big publicity uh, publicity thing. And uh, so, figure I get that. I got a deal on the package there. Now these are great, and I always pick them up when I find them at sales. Uh, they were originally put out by uh, Shell Gasoline, I believe, uh, stations back in the '60s. But they're Cleveland Browns um, little little uh, glasses here, and. Uh, they're very collectible now, actually, especially the small ones. But uh, I use them around here all the time. I love drinking out of them, and they're, they're just really cool glasses. Got that kind of like uh, dark, uh, frosted look to them. Very cool. And finally, this was a great little find. An old uh, little cardboard egg container from 1934. There it is, copyright 1934 by Bloomer Brothers. You know, it's great when people uh, save something that actually wasn't meant to be saved. And, uh, you know, it says right here, you know, do not destroy this carton, sell it for waste paper. Well, thankfully, he didn't sell it and uh, got a nice little collectible piece here from 1934. It's so cool. The insides even have, like, the little, uh, you know, egg separators, you know, for putting a dozen eggs in there. It'd be kind of cool to, you know, hey, wait, hold on a second. You know, just got an idea. There's a modern egg container, so you can imagine what I'm going to do right now. Now, there we go. I had to fill them up with fresh eggs. Well, the way I look at it, you can see, like, hey, I got some fresh eggs here. The eggs might be fresh, but the container is 76 years old. Geez, and I had to be extra careful taking those out because this one right here was cracked. So I'm glad it didn't crack in the container. It would have ruined it. Well, thanks so much for watching this installment of Garage Sale Finds.